Hey y'all, let's sew some inseam pockets on our Silas or Sloan sweatpants. With your pocket piece wrong side up, you're going to press your interfacing over the entire pocket stitch line. Now, if you want to, you can first press the interfacing and then mark the stitch line on top of the interfacing. It might be easier for you to see depending on what color your fabric is. Then you're going to align that pocket piece with the right sides together to one of the front leg pieces. And we're going to take it to our sewing machine and you're going to stitch directly on the stitch marking line. I like to use a longer triple stitch here. And when you get to the corners, just make sure you leave your needle down, lift your foot up, and then turn and continue stitching. Once you have the pocket stitched to the front leg along that stitch line, you are going to take your scissors and you are going to cut up to each of the corners but make sure not to go through the stitch line so you can see I'm doing that here I'm going to cut all the way to the corner on each side but don't go through the stitch line and then you're going to press the pocket toward the wrong side of that front leg and I like to use my iron and some best press or spray starch to really make sure that the pocket is nice and crisp. And you're going to be aligning all of those side and top edges of the pocket to the front leg. Now there's a little piece of corner on the bottom edge of the pocket that's sticking out and you can trim that with your scissors if you'd like. You see that little piece right there? I'm just going to trim it. And once I have my pocket piece pressed nicely with my iron, then you're going to come back to your sewing machine and you're going to edge stitch around the pocket opening an eighth of an inch from the edge. Again, I like to use a longer triple stitch here when I am top stitching or edge stitching. Once you have that sewn, you are going to take your other pocket piece and you're going to place it right side together and you're aligning all the raw edges of the pocket. So aligning the top and the bottom curves and you're going to sew the two pockets together along the inside edge and the bottom curve with a quarter inch seam allowance. Once that's sewn, again, make sure they are nicely aligned and you're just going to baste the pocket on the top and sides where they overlap with the pants piece. And once that is basted on, you will repeat that entire process with the other side and other pocket pieces. And then you can go ahead and continue the construction as normal in the tutorial. If you have any questions, you can ask below and I will try to answer them. I will also link the other pocket videos, including the cargo pocket and back pocket for the Sloan and Silas sweatpants down below.